the Congress would now talk to the high command. That's what uh, the former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma told me during the day of polling. And uh, in all likelihood, the Congress would approach the governor of Meghalaya staking claims as a single largest party because that has been the party strategy. And if they do it in Meghalaya, not only they, uh, uh, you know, this will be symbolic, but it would also send across a message to several regional parties in Meghalaya who are now with the ruling alliance that Congress is serious about forming an alliance. Remember, Meghalaya has has history of you know political turmoils of uh, of coalitions which were patchy, uh, and there have been governments which even could not last uh, a week. In, uh, so this has been the political history of Meghalaya, given the fact that there is this history. So. In the run-up to 2019, this victory uh, of Congress is very important because A, it gives them a moral high ground as a moral booster that the party needed in not only Meghalaya but perhaps across Northeast. Post-2014 Lok Sabha elections, Congress has only faced defeats in Northeast. In uh, Manipur, it, uh, it emerged as a single largest party but could not gather number to form the government. BJP did it with the help of the regional parties including the NPP. In Meghal as well, Congress became sing single largest but could not gather number. So there was a lot of, you know, uh, inside the party, party workers, lower rank leaders, they were rejected that why can't the Congress gather number? And in the Ampati election, the scenes were very interesting because while across the country, the opposition kind of gathered together against the BJP at Ampati, which has been a traditional Congress seat because Mukul Sangma has won Ampati since 1993. And this time when uh, his daughter was contesting as Congress candidate, rather the winning, uh, the ruling alliance uh, led by NPP, all the parties in the alliance, including BJP, BJP leaders from Assam, from Delhi, and all the uh, alliance partners, they campaigned in Ampati. So it was a uh, you know, in, uh, uh, election where there were a lot of things in state. And the fact that Congress has been able to win this, although they are in opposition, because in North East, usually people start voting for the party which is in power. So Congress, in the last election, when Mukul Sangma won Ampati, he was still in power, but this time he was in opposition. The fact that with a new con candidate, Congress has been able to win Ampati, this is certainly going to give a lot of boost to Congress, not only in Meghalaya, but across Northeast. And what we are hearing from party sources that the party will now talk to the high command and in all likelihood, after the swearing in of the new uh, MLAs, remember in William Nagar constituency also, there was a bipole last month and NPP has won. So there are two new, um, uh, you know, uh, MLAs who have to be uh, sworn in as member of the legislative assembly. Once that is done, Congress in all likelihood will meet the uh, Meghalaya governor and stake claims. That's what we are hearing right, from party right, sources.